Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade, and for the third time today, I'm telling Antonio Sabato Jr. that he ruined my childhood, but he's an awesome guy with a great new show. So check your local listings, fix it and finish it, and you can also check for fixitandfinish.com. Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade, and Antonio Sabato Jr. I was just joking with you, well, half joking. <laughs> you ruined my childhood, man, and I'm 36. Every guy in his 30s, you ruined our childhood. Oh, and I'm happy I to hope, have you. I, I hope I, I made your childhood better. No, no, because <laughs> you would try to date a girl, and then they would see your Calvin Klein underwear ads, and they'd be like, you need to look like that. <laughs> and none of us looked like that, and yeah, like, about. God, you suck. But I no, suck, you're man. awesome. What can I say? Congratulations. New show. Thank you you've been me. a busy guy. We're just talking about you did the Dancing with the Stars thing. And now you've got this. Who knew you were a handyman? You've got this new show out where you fix stuff and rebuild stuff. And it's really, really cool. Basis, on a daily basis. On a daily basis. Yeah. And like quick. Talk quick. To me, talk to me about it. Well, we've been uh, on the road since last May. We finished 120 homes in one season. Incredible. And I do a different project every day. This is truly a blessing, my friend, because I go in in the morning and I ambush these people, these families, and I go in and I go, listen, I'm going to fix your kitchen in one day. And I have my people from all the local uh, cities that we go to and, and, we, get, and we get it done. And, um, and what happens is by the end of the day, I see these families just smile and crying and just I make their dreams come true. Uh, every single day uh, of my show and uh, to do 120 projects different homes across the nation in one year was astronomical and we did it and now we got picked up for two more years unbelievable so we're doing 150 starting in may and then we're going to do another 150 the following year i'm trying to understand that workload a hundred most people with contractors involved can't finish a room by themselves right to go in and get out that quickly what kind of workload is that it's got to be insane it, it's it's pretty insane I mean we go in I got my team that travels with me the entire time and then I have all the local builders and landscapers and designers and I do all the demo I do the entire demo 120 demos and I do the rebuilding I get in, very much involved in the whole thing throughout the entire day um, I tell you man it's never been done before by the time we're done in the next two years we've done 450 shows which means we've done like you know Friends have not gotten that many shows. I mean, we do, like, I mean, this is crazy. I think Simpson is the only one who's going to beat us as far as many shows on the air. Um, because it's, it's a daily show. And every day we go to a different family. And today I'm going to make your bedroom, your landscape, your backyard. Everything will be done. And it's given to the families for free. It's donated. Um, it's amazing. I'm, like, the whole community comes together. And sometimes, you know, we have to deal with the snow, I have to deal with the rain, I have to deal with the mud, storms, and we get it done. No matter what, we get it done. I've got, you've got to walk me through this experience because people, you know, of all age groups know you because you were essentially one of the largest, if not the largest, for, uh, for a while, sex symbols in the world. Now you're walking in and fixing people's houses. What's the reaction when Antonio Sabato Jr. walks in? Are they like, oh, are they like, what the heck is going on here? Well, it's more. It's such a blessing. It's, it's, it's more than, it's not about me. It's about giving to these families. These families apply to be on the show and it's something really specific in their house that needs to get done you know and some of them had to deal with job loss and 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 family matters of all kinds so they come from different backgrounds and issues and stuff so to do their bedroom uh, or their kitchen means the world so time passes by they don't know we're coming and all of a sudden boom at seven o'clock in the morning i'm knocking at the door and i have my whole team right here i have my builders tractors are like waiting in front tools and everything and like, hey, there I am, fix it and finish it this year. And they're just like, some of them have been in shock. Some of them have ran out and picked me up and like screamed as loud as you can hear them scream. Um, cried. Uh, they ran back in their home going, this is not possible. I can't believe you're here. So I see the best reactions ever, ever, every day of what I do for a living. It's amazing. You've had such a fascinating career. You're an enormous soap opera star. Then you become again... You're on the cover of everything imaginable. Then you're doing Dance with the Stars. You've been able to reinvent yourself, stay relevant. How does that happen? It's so hard. People don't get it. In this business, it is freaking hard to keep going. 
and you've been able to do it. How's that worked where you've stayed relevant and kept this journey going at a high level? I have a, a strong family. I have my wife who just backs me up. I have good friends. Uh, I'm truly blessed. Um, my faith has a big thing in my life where I just, I just want to live my day and giving back to people. I, I never thought a year, a year ago that I was going to be doing this for, you know, a hundred and some homes and, and families across the nation now that I am in this position. So anytime you're taken somewhere and you evolve, just go with it and have a, have a great time and, and, uh, and, and then be passionate about it. Give yourself a hundred percent into everything you do. Um, and now more than ever, um, you know, I, I did a, I did a, a bedroom for a kid. He was like a teenager in New Orleans. And this kid never had his bedroom for the last 10 years. I mean, I grew up having my own bedroom, uh, or at least sharing it sometimes with my sister. So I was, I was blessed beyond, beyond any means, but this kid didn't. So by the end of the afternoon, I built this kid his first bedroom that he's ever had awesome. at 15. So the reaction was like, he was so shocked. I mean, so I see that every day. Uh, and I'm just so amazed and, you know, and, and I can't wait for the entire country to see what I do every day because you see it as live in front of your face. This is what's going to happen on this show today. Um, so I, I can't tell you how happy I am to really be. Were you, were you a handyman growing up? Has this always been a skill that you've had? I've always, since I was a little kid, I always like Legos was, was a big part of my life. And I always, you know, I always built it like it came in the box. You have to follow the directions. And then as soon as I built it, I was like, I don't want it to look like this. So I would demolish it and rebuild it the way I wanted it. You know, if it was a spacecraft or anything like that. So, or a car, you know, definitely a car. I would build a lot of those and have them race down the street. So then I, I moved into working in my own properties, my own homes. And then I, I'm, you know, I started working on motorcycles and cars and race cars and taking cars apart, literally to the, to, to the last bolt. And now I do the same thing in homes. So if I see something in a house, you know, I walk into in these homes and I see a kitchen that needs to be remodeled, I just destroy it and start fresh. You gotta walk me through, when, when, when that worldwide Calvin Klein, so people don't realize this was before the internet. Now it's, it's a different <laughs> ball game. Now Justin Bieber does Calvin Klein ads and it's everywhere within five seconds, but right. there was no internet. So to, to achieve that level of fame and visibility at that time was a, such an incredible achievement. When that was happening, what was, what was it like? What was it like being in the throes of that? Uh, it was very overwhelming. I mean, when I worked for Calvin, I did three campaigns for him. It wasn't just once. It was, uh, it was many years of working for Calvin Klein. Also, I was the first model, uh, you know, celebrity actor who did a Calvin Klein campaign having tattoos. So I was like, I remember the first campaign I did for Wayne, with Wayne Mazur shot it. He's a photographer. And Calvin said, do you want to keep your tattoos? I said, that's part of my, and that's who I am. They represent me. And and so he left them there. So it was something really different and like, oh, there's no tattoos in, in campaigns. Now they're everywhere. You have Devin, David Beckham and whatnot. But back, back then it wasn't. So to be in Times Square with my mother and to have a 90-foot billboard oh with God. tattoos and my face out there and the whole thing, it was just like, it was so surreal. It was like, because I used to live down the street from, from there making no money but really loving living in, in New York and telling myself someday I'm going to be doing this and that. And then to be working for Calvin was like, wow, this is pretty cool. Is it, did it, you said overwhelming. Was it, do you feel, was it at that moment where you have to maintain a certain image? You obviously have to stay in great, crazy shape, but does it get to a point where you say, I want to be more than this as well, that I've got to get out of this later on? I mean, I remember there was always something like when I was when I was doing soap operas, it was always like, well, you do daytime, you can't do prime time. And then I went to do prime time and I worked for Steven Spielberg. I did a TV show for him. And then when you're in prime time, you can't do feature films. It was always it's like nowadays things are different. Now you can do everything. You have the Internet, like you said, social media, whatnot. And people become famous from social media alone. You know, it's like it's crazy. But uh, I always I always told myself, don't follow the herd. Just follow your beliefs, follow, you know, be a good person, work hard, appreciate what you have, you know, and be respectful and all that good stuff. So as long as I keep doing that, everything worked out, you know, so I never wanted to, to, to follow what people said about me. You know, if you do Calvin, if you do a campaign, it was like, I was really happy I was doing Calvin Klein. I mean, I was like, he was the man and he's a good friend. And, and if I was going to do a campaign for anybody, uh, I was going to do it for Calvin Klein. So it turned out to be great for me. So let's put it this way. At the end of the day, I'm very thankful every day.